Yo, how's it going guys and welcome back to another video of Cheap Beasts. I've really been loving looking on Foothead, as I say, looking for these cards that I think you guys will really, really enjoy. So, as I mentioned, we're doing La Liga today. If you go on to enjoy the video, please do drop a like and subscribe for much more FIFA 20 content. I think we've got, what, six days to go, depending on when you're watching this video. Not long at all, not long until you're preparing your starter teams, you're looking to go into division rivals and some of these players are ones you definitely need to pick up. So let's just get straight into it. So up first we actually have the cheap Vinicius Junior. Junior, 75 rated Junior and his stats look really really nice. You can see there's a few yellows as I mentioned, you're not always going to get the finished article with every player that you do want in your starter team, but few things that we do look out for, pace, 4 star combo, 92 jumping, looks to be a really really nice card. The only problem is he's um, got poor heading for the jumping, that's what makes him bad. And a 59 composure, as I say, you get the 4 star skill moves, you get the pace, but you're missing out on the composure, you don't get that. And you, you only get that when you're really upgrading to the top tier players. But Junior looks to be a really really nice starter card for you, I think I would definitely recommend him. I'll definitely put him in my team and I'm looking forward to trying out these players. I don't think he'll cost more than 2k at the start of the game. Even if there is some hype around him, because he's 75 rated, he's going to be so commonly packed and quickly people move on to new cards. So if you want to try him out, I'd definitely pick him up in the first few days. I think he'll do good stuff for you in Division Rivals. Up next we have Ocampos. Now, Severe Man looks to be a very nice card this year. He's got some really, really good stats. Ones that stand out to me would be the skill moves. The Stamina 91, look at them physical stats for a 77 rated card, they look to be really good. We've got 91 Stamina, 82 Jumping, 81 Strength and 83 Aggression. Combine that with his Pace, the Reactions of 83, 80 Agility, all looks to add up to a really really nice card and I think you will enjoy using him in FIFA 20. Up next I have a defensive option for you all to use and I think he will really really be popular especially with the hybrid links that you can offer with this card. Carlos looks to be very very good, he's got the pace, 4 star weak foot which is always good on a centre back and very good strength at 86. I would more than recommend you go pick up this guy, he looks to be an amazing cheap beast. The only downside I can see really, the passing is a bit not the best, the long passing especially and the balance looks to be quite poor. Just depends what you're really after on a centre back, but for the stats that matter, especially for a centre back, he looks to be very, very strong. Six foot one, medium high work rate, and he just looks to be, yeah, a cheap beast. What more can you say there? Up next, we have a card that I've used quite a lot on previous FIFAs, and that is Kappa. Now, I think he's been downgraded a bit, which is a bit of a shame, but he still holds a few nice stats, as I've mentioned. Balance is very good, 85. 84 sprint speed is good and the 92 stamina is excellent for a fullback especially with high high work rate. Downsides heading and long passing not the best of his stats but for a right back with good pace, good strength almost and 86 aggression is phenomenal I think especially for them cards at the start of the game. Spanish right backs are always a good addition to have. I think I've used DeMarcos in the past. Uh, Juan Fran was very used last year especially that uh, SBC card he did get but Kappa could be that guy for you, especially if you're building a La Liga team. The next one we have is a very commonly used player from FIFA 19, and that is Vast. Now he got the, uh, I think he might have got a Europa League card last year, and it did get upgraded quite highly. I think he got a few special cards anyway. 3 star, 3 star, medium, medium, 5'11", he's got good balance stats all over the board, good passing, good shot power, and he just looks to be one of those cards, very similar to a lot of the centre mids that we've looked at. Not amazing in a lot of areas, but very good or average in most areas, which just makes someone you're willing to use and they can do a lot of things on the pitch so they can run back, they can tackle, they can pass the ball, they can't do anything outstanding, but if you ask them to do most things, they can do it comfortably. So Vass, I would say, put him in that midfield. Next we have Dabo. Now Dabo actually got a team of the season last year. I remember watching, uh, I think it was Wayback's video on the team of the season, Dabo. And he's got a nice card this year. I think he's transferred to Sevilla. Bought a lot of players, I think, Sevilla. So 80 rated, 4 star, 4 star. Excellent finishing, I think, for a base card, which can be bumped up with the chemistry style. And really, really nice jumping of 89 with 80 heading. 6 foot, medium low work rate. He could be a bit of like a cheap Zlatan, I don't know. That's probably pushing it a bit, but 
He looks to just be really, really nice. Not amazing pace, good pace, but I think he'll be very enjoyable. Just hopefully he feels good on the game. You can see he's going to be an excellent cheat beast for you. As you may be able to tell, I am now recording this at a later date, a few hours after actually I did initially record. Somehow I managed to miss out two players, not sure how, but I couldn't miss them out. Up first, we have Wu Li. Now, this guy's really, really interesting. I'm not sure if he just had a recent transfer, but obviously he's from China, and I think he came from the Chinese Super League. So, in his first game, I think he did play. I think there was like a massive following for this game because they were so excited to see him in the Spanish League. Not sure how true that is, but that is a full head comment for you. If it's true, it's very, very cool. He looks to be a good card though. I think with the few informs, this guy could be actually excellent. 5 foot 9, medium, medium. He's got great pace. He's got a good weak foot. Few cons with him are the strength and I've put the aggression down because it's 65. Looks to be like a decent striker though for you at the start. Obviously doesn't have the skill moves, but very pacey. The other player is probably the best player that I've found in the Spanish league for you to try out, especially in the first few weeks even in foot champions and that is Morales. Now Morales guys, he looks to be really, really nice. I struggled, I don't think I've had this many positives for a cheap beast in all of the videos that I've done so far. That's how good this guy looks. Four star combo, we know he's so important. I talk about it all the time. Work rates, high, medium, excellent. Finishing 83 on a base, that is lovely. Pace, 88 acceleration, 90 sprint speed. What more could you ask for from this guy? He looks to be excellent. I hope he's not too overpriced, but I'm really happy with this card. Even Stamina 82 for a striker. You could play him at camp. I think he would do well. He's got good passing. Downsides, obviously jumping, and the long passing is a bit weak at 68. But them stats, when you compare them to everything else he does have, the pros for this guy are just phenomenal. And I think he would be one of the best cheap beasts that you can actually use out of any leagues. Him and Rebic are standouts for me and I can't wait to just try them out. As for the last one in the La Liga, I've gone for Rodrigo. Now this guy's another cheap Vinicius, Brazilian, Real Madrid as you can see. 4 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot, so he doesn't go to the same... Um, I wouldn't put him in the same bracket as Junior, the first card we looked at. I don't think he's as good as him, but if you're looking to get a Real Madrid player in your team, this guy can offer you pace, skills, should just be a nice cheap winger on the game i think the problems will be down to his physical he'll get bullied off the ball very easily especially if your opponents have got stronger fullbacks that's what i'm going to be building towards having strong fullbacks as opposed to ones that are just relying on pace because i think if you're up against the cheaper wingers especially at the start of the game and if you've got fullbacks that have excellent stamina you'll do really really well so those are my la liga cheap beasts for today i'm going to be looking at some more cheap beasts i think We've got a few leagues to cover still, but we've done Bundesliga, Premier League, Serie A, and we've also done now a Serie A starter squad. I hope you enjoyed that video yesterday. It was a lot of fun to make, and if you have any other starter squads that you want me to look at, leave them down in the comments below. But that is going to be it for today. I've really enjoyed looking at all these cheap beasts. Expect lots of reviews coming to the channel very, very soon for FIFA 20, and a whole load of content. That is me done for today. I'll see you all tomorrow with another video. See you later.